OMG BBG! Welcome back to another unboxing video guys. Hope you're having a great day. Today's video is UX07, the Phoenix Rudder Set. So this is the second UX bay that we're getting this month and you're gonna get three different bays in this pack. So pretty hype. And on top of that, this Phoenix Rudder has a metal coat just like the previous Phoenix. But unlike the previous Phoenix, this is no longer an attack type. Yeah, so Phoenix is now a stamina type. What do you guys think about that? It's kind of cool, but a little unusual for Takara Tomi to be changing types. But they've been doing that with Leon Crest too now, so maybe expect more in the future. Yep, Takara Tomi wants us to keep on mixing it up, so now we're getting a stamina Phoenix. Uh, there's quite a bit to go through, so we're going to try and keep it really quick for you guys and get to the meat of it. Let's take a look at the back of the box real quick. So this bay is also owned by Burn Fujiwara. It was actually hinted at in like chapter 12 of the manga, I think. He was like, yo, where's my new bay? And then his like lab dudes were like, yo, it's not ready yet. And then I'm pretty sure they're talking about this bay. Yeah, I can't wait to see this bay in the anime. But dang, like Phoenix Wing is already so good. Is this evolution going to be able to top that even? So it's a stamina type. It's right spinning UX line now. And the main gimmick is that it has like a high press or a high pressure stamina gimmick. Um, to be honest with you, it's very similar to something that we've seen before with other stamina types. It like attacks from above and drains the spin, chips away at the spin of its opponents, but it does have its specialties too. Like it has different quirks. The blade itself has a metal coat red, just like the previous Phoenix, like I mentioned, really cool. The 970 ratchet is brand new. So that fan favorite nine bladed design is now at a 70 height. And then this guy right here. Ooh, it's the new material. Yup, it's the glide bit. So this one here's got a special material on it. Talk about that later. Then you got your two random bays, but that's also kind of cool because these two bays were locked behind random boosters or random booster selects. You got Wyvern Gale 260S and Sphinx Cow 180 GF. And yo, if you guys want this bay for yourself and you don't really know where to shop for Takara Tomi bays, our friends over at Zen Market can help you out. They're an easy to use proxy shipping service that can help you get all sorts of Japanese goods straight to your door. You guys will have an insane selection of Beyblade goods to sort through because you have access to over 10,000 stores like Amazon Japan, Yahoo Auctions, Rakuten, Makari, and so much more. We know Beyblade X is in the spotlight right now, but you can also get Beyblade Burst products and even Beyblade Metal Fight stuff still. So Zen Market is your go-to if you're looking for anything Beyblade. Like we said though, you can get more than just Beyblades from Zen Market. And from now until August 30th, you can save on all of your favorite Japanese products with a zero yen service fee on select stores. Check out the link in the description to see the recommended stores for each category that have been carefully selected by Zen Market to guarantee you quality. On top of that, save even more by signing up for your Zen Market account with our link. We now have an increased sign up bonus and you'll get a thousand Zen points that you can use towards your international shipping. One Zen point equals one yen. With that said, if you guys are looking for anything from Japan, go check out Zen Market. Phoenix Rudder. Oh man. Metal Coat Red looks sick, bro. The signature color. Here's all the parts and let's dive right in. First and foremost, let's talk about the star of this deck here, which is the Phoenix Rudder Bay. Take a look at the blade, guys. Metal Coat Red, and then it has like this translucent pink plastic for the launcher hook. Dude, the color is popping. It actually looks sick on this bay. Yeah, and did you notice that like, cause they had to make this a stamina type, they kind of made all the blades super smooth. So it's got this like different look. Okay, yeah, bro. The only thing that I'm not really feeling is the gear chip. Like the way that they designed the avatar for this, kind of looking goofy to me. I mentioned this a while back. I think the old Phoenix gear chip actually looks so much more badass. Phoenix Red is kind of given like chicken vibes, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> bop bop. Yeah, I guess maybe they didn't want uh, Phoenix to look too aggressive with a stamina type. Yeah, I guess so. But that's just my opinion. It's still overall very good looking bay. Takara Tomi mentioned that this six blade design is unique because it has like this upside down trapezoid shape for the blades. And the way that it's pointed downwards is to help you drain the spin of your opponents. You attack from above with super high stamina and you just chip away at the spin of your opponents, eventually spin finish. I know this gimmick doesn't sound that unique because other stamina types have something very similar, but this blade does feel rather heavy in the hand. So yo, the weight could be really high. We'll find out soon. 
Yeah, and unlike most of the Beyblade X blades, um, you're gonna get some contacts onto the plastic part of this blade a lot more. Yep, and moving on to 970 now. So you guys know the nine-sided ratchet is a fan favorite. Now we get it in a 70 height. There's really not much else to say about it, but the color, yo, the translucent pink and this kind of translucent black gray combo, it looks fire. Yeah, it should be a pretty good alternative to a 960, uh, another millimeter in height. Yeah, and this bit is going to make it even better. So the next part we have is the glide bit. This is a very interesting part because we're being introduced to a new material. Well, a material that's new to Beyblade X. We've seen this in the past in Beyblade Burst, but that white ball that you see in the center is made from that POM material. It's essentially a thermal plastic that has very low friction, allowing Phoenix Rudder to spin for a very long time. The white POM ball is encased in some orange plastic, and this plastic looks like it's fully circular, but it's not. If you guys take a closer look, we'll try and get you a shot here so you guys can see it, but it's slightly raised on two sides, and Takeru Tomi mentions that this is supposed to help Phoenix Rudder stay upright when it gets knocked around. Of course, the bit is meant to ride on the extreme line, and for this one, you have 16 teeth for the gear, encouraging it to go fast in the extreme line. Yeah, for like a stamina type bit, they're giving it all these gears to make it go so quick, it's like kind of counterintuitive for a stamina type, but you know, Burn Fujiwara was like so obsessed with speed and everything like that, it kind of matches. So very interesting choice, at least we're doing something different. Now let's quickly talk about our other bays. We have this black and gray, kind of like monochrome style Wyvern Gale. Looks pretty good, honestly. This was locked behind the Random Booster Volume 2, so if you didn't buy that, this is an easy way to get this blade. I honestly think that Wyvern Gale looks pretty good as a blade, but just not super competitive. Comes with that 260 ratchet, which is fairly new, came with Cobalt Dragoon. Also not the greatest, but colors looking really good. And then we get this black spike bit, first introduced with Rhino Horn. A defense type bit, not too bad. And then for the third bay from this pack, we have Sphinx Cow 180 gear flat. Okay, guys, honestly, no one really uses Sphinx Cow. It's like dead bottom. But hey, it's there if you want it. It does come with a 180, so if you want to be a tall attacker, this might be the one for you. And then gear flat, we got this from the previous uh, Phoenix Wing already. We might have a couple of these by now. So over all the other two bays that you get from this pack, honestly, it's a skip. I kind of wish Keratomi gave us something better. But you are forced to buy these other two, so we'll take it. Yeah, well, at least they were random booster prize bays. And of course, you know, we need to weigh our bay. Like I said, it does feel kind of heavy, but we'll find out now how much it weighs. 34.86. Damn, not as heavy as I thought. Mm. That's kind of disappointing. But I guess if they made this too heavy and it is really round, it might just be too OP. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Compared to our Phoenix wing, we have a few different versions like that we keep around. But I know this one here is heavy. OG Phoenix, still heavier. Yeah, like bit of a downgrade in terms of weight, but all good, I guess. I mean, Phoenix Rider still looks sick. The full combination, if you guys are curious, quickly just put the bait together. That is the final weight, full combo, Phoenix Rudder. All right, quick test spin with Phoenix Rudder. Three, two, one, go, oh, shoot. Oh, moving quite a bit. Oh. All right, you guys can see here that with this palm bit, we still get some movement. It's actually not that chill because I launched like half strength. You launch it full power, it's definitely gonna fly a bit. Yeah, towards the end here, you'll land on the POM bit. All right, let's do a few rounds with the other bays that we got. Say goodbye to the paint. Here we go. Yeah, bro. Oh, I don't wanna hurt the paint, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Three, Three two, two, one, go, go shoot. shoot. Oh, my paints! Yo, you oh, better no, win against it, me. Please. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. Three, Three two, two, one, go shoot. Wyvern Gale, another weakling. Just kidding. Let's go, Wyvern Gale. Oh. Knocked out by Wyvern Gale is just kind of crazy. Dang. Three, Three two, two, one, one go, go shoot. shoot. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you gonna lose this one? All the extra teeth on that. Just, uh. Okay, okay. Wow. Well, dude, like, 
they barely made contact and your spin was just gone. True. Moved a bit too much, maybe. Three, Three two, two, one, go one, shoot. shoot. It's kind of fun though. I feel like it's a uh, easy one to use. Hmm. It's actually doing a pretty decent job chipping away at the spin and everything. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, definitely not that aggressive though. So that wraps up our unboxing on Phoenix Rudder. And well, technically there's other bays too, but we're really here for this Phoenix Rudder. What do you guys think? Phoenix Rudder is definitely not that Phoenix that I'm used to. But hey, you know what? It's all good. We can still show our OG Phoenix some love. Yeah, we only did a few rounds, so it's really hard to say whether or not this blade is going to be really good, really competitive. But, you know, from the few rounds that we did do, it did a pretty good job at chipping away the spin of its opponents. But if anything, this bit, glide bit, might be holding it back. The 16 teeth on here, it's like kind of crazy, you know? Just like a cell, when it attaches to the streamline, it like flies and could be good, could be bad. Would be nice to have a little bit more control. But we will battle more, of course. So leave your suggestions down in the comment section below. Who do you want us to battle against this new guy? Overall though, would we tell you guys to avoid this, consider it, or just go ahead and buy it? Oh, this, this one's a tough one. I think I'm gonna say go buy this one because having this Metal Coat Phoenix Rudder is pretty cool no matter what. And since it introduces the palm material, I think it's pretty unique. And on top of that, you do get Wyvern Gale and Sphinx Cow, which were locked behind random boosters. So pretty good value overall. Just go buy this one, okay? All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. As always, geeks, geeks out. out.